Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking LG logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is our creation done in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start in the blank presentation. I already have the logo in here, so I will select it and select format, colors drop down menu and I will select the gray, pre gray preset just so I can see what I'm drawing. I will zoom in just a little bit and I guess I will start with this content in the middle inside the circle. So let's start with the circle. Insert shapes oval and I will draw it with my shift key press just so it's not an oval but the circle instead. Now I cannot see anything below it because the fill is opaque so I will select shape fill, more fill colors and I will increase the transparency a little bit like this. Then I will right click and select set as default shape which will cause that all the newly drawn shapes will have this, those properties. The L shape is easy because there is an L shape in the default shape. So insert shapes and there should be this L shape which is exactly what we want. So I will draw it like this. Then I have to make sure that it doesn't go outside actually like this. Then I have to adjust those uh, widths using this one of those yellow handle and the second yellow handle like this. Okay, so the face or whatever it is, this part, I guess we can use this shape which is called a block arc. I will draw it again with my shift key. I don't care about the size right now because first I will just make sure that it's like almost a full circle. It will be easier for us to guess the right size. So I'll make sure that it's aligned with the shape below like this. Then I will use both you know, or this first one to set the width and the starting point and the second one to set the ending point. I don't have to go all the way up here because that will be covered with another shape which will be most likely a rectangle which I'll draw right now. So insert shapes a new rectangle and I'll draw it in the size that it kind of aligns with this previous shape like this. Then I will select both shapes and select format merge shapes union just so that this is one this is just of one shape. Now for the background this is clearly the ellipse or a circle so insert shapes oval. I will draw it in the size of the logo like this and I need one more shape for this kind of highlight. Maybe I will select the selection pane and hide everything just so I can clearly see the shape of the highlight. I will try to somehow draw it and I guess that it may be perhaps like a rotated uh, kind of uh, oval. I don't know. You can see there is a little bit of highlight going outside so I have to make this a little bit bigger. You know, maybe I, I would need to adjust the bezier points. I don't know. Maybe it's just fine the way it is right now. Okay, I'm pretty happy with, the, with this shape. It's somehow similar and I, I don't have to adjust those handles manually. So I will select all, uh, show all the shapes, make sure that the two ovals are below the other shapes and I will just select everything move it to the right side and move the logo to the left side. Then I will select format, reset picture, just so I can see the colors. I will select one of those shapes, right click and select the format shape. Now for the background shape, for the fill, I want this red color. So I will select solid color and for the color I will set the eyedropper tool and sample red color maybe from this area like this. I don't need any line, so the line should be set to no line. For the highlight I want the gradient going from like semi-transparent uh, white to fully transparent wine, uh, white. Sorry. So I will set the fill to uh, line to no line and fill to gradient fill going from white which is fine to white but the second stop should be fully transparent and I guess the angle is just about right. 90, 90 uh, degrees seems about right but the first stop should be a little bit more transparent like this. Maybe instead of setting transparency I can directly sample this color. Maybe I can open the color drop down and set the eyedropper tool and just sample this kind of pinkish color. That may look a little bit better. Then I will duplicate it or select new stop in the same color but transparency set to 100%. And we will get almost the same looking result as we are getting on the left side. Now if you, if you compare those two uh, images you can clearly see that the left one is kind of more like 3D and that's, that's caused uh, by the edges getting a little bit darker. So I guess I can select the background and set the inner shadow effect. So in the effects I will open the shadow and for the preset I will select one of those inner shadow which is most likely outside of the video right now. So I will open it from here, format, shape effects, shadow and I will select this inner shadow effect and I'll make it much bigger like this 
and the color should be most likely some kind of dark red so I will sample kind of dark red color from here and that seems a little bit better I kind of like it okay so let's move to the uh, those three shapes in the middle I will select all of them and I will most likely group them together so select a group and group for the line I will set no line and the fill should be a gradient fill and this time it will go from white on the top to like a gray one on the bottom so the first should be white I can still use the eyedropper tool to make sure that it's full white this is the white color and the second will be a little bit gray color from this point okay and I will move this gray all the way to the right side so this is the gradient but we still need a little bit of 3 dness so if for the 3D ness I'll open the effects and in the 3D format I will set the top bevel to be this preset which is angle and it's probably too much if you compare those two images I should probably make it much smaller so the width could be maybe like I don't know 3 points or even like 2 points and the height could be maybe smaller like 3 points, 4 points, I don't know it's not a big difference as you can see I'm changing the values but the difference is very minor so I guess that's fine for the freeness you can see there's a little bit of like a drop shadow effect going on without any blurring so I will still open the shadows and for the preset I will select one of those outer presets without any blur so the blur should be set to zero points the angle uh, is fine the distance could be a little bit bigger and the transparency should be much higher like I don't know 85% or 78% whatever kind of you know a little bit more faded okay so if I try to close all the panels and zoom in as much as I can I can quickly compare those two and you know there is not much else what we can do as for the 3D effects because we have a limited number of presets as for the light sources and you know some kind of highlights and stuff I guess you know we are fine with the result we get a very similar result as the logo on the left side so that's it that's how you create the LG logo in Microsoft PowerPoint in almost no time thanks for watching